Hello. So next, uh, actually, I'll still um focusing on the main shape a little bit. I realize I still have to adjust it to be a bit wider, just a little bit more. So I'll go ahead, um, right click to do a transform, Control T, and then warp. Then I can still uh adjust it a little bit more. Okay. So I just want to make it a little bit bigger. So going to push out the silhouette a little bit more on top. So still adjusting the main silhouette a little bit more. Uh, and then I'm almost done. Okay, so if you are done, uh, making sure your things uh, look your size of the cube looks correct. Okay, you can move on. So next we will do a little bit of gradient on the uh, other side. So I want to create a gradient that goes around like this and darkens the uh, cube over there. So so let's do that. So I'll just color pick a darker color. And I'll go ahead and create a gradient. Cross like this. Use multiply for it, so it, so that this uh, area here you you'll be affected as well. The one need to be super bright, but I want it to give more toner values to this cube right now. Okay, the top part I'll re erase a bit more, so it's a bit more subtle. Okay, so this one maybe I'll just call it gradient. Okay, next one I'll call it details. So I want to be careful not to zoom in too much or so. I want to keep myself zoom out, very important. And then uh, I want to be able to lock in this kind of details here. Also, I want to be able to uh, try to grab them, including the one in the center. Okay, so I'll pin, um, I'll grab one of these uh, darker colors here. Actually, I want it to be a little bit darker, so I'll manually darken it myself. Keeping myself zoom out um, ensures that I'm not, I'm having the overall picture in mind. Then I wouldn't be uh I wouldn't miss out on the grand scheme of things. So it's also easier for me to spot my own mistakes early on when I'm zoom out. Okay, so I just want to put down values. <clears throat> Smudge it a little bit so I can still push it around. We want to make our stone quite accurate, so do your best to keep it as accurate as you can.
opacity when I smudge it, it becomes softer and it's also lose some opacity. So actually it's working in my favor. Don't need to do too much and I'm getting some details onto the areas. Smudge with my H key. Smudge. And everything is on a clipping mask layer. Uh, if I want to shift some things, I can select it and I can use V to move it so I can still adjust it a little bit. Okay, the right surface seems a little bit too dark for me right now, so I'll go in and use my dodge on it. I'll use a dodge mid tones. So I'll dodge uh, to bring back some of these values. Uh, maybe mid tone is a bit too much. Maybe I'll use dodge highlight instead. It seems workable. I'll desaturate this area a little bit. Okay, for the bottom part of the uh, bottom part of the uh, cube, I want to keep this area a little bit darker. So I can go back to my main silhouette layer to use my burn to darken this side here. So it looks more grounded for now. So burn on a little bit on the right surface. Right, so I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.